Hey there, how's it going? Today I'm here to talk to you guys about the three year anniversary. What does that bring you? Well, since Apollo has been open since July of 2020, an event, that's what it brings. No, what it brings is a 30% TP booster and a 30% store sale and something after that. How long does the event at last you might uh, inquire? Two weeks from whatever start date. Um, it's not set at the time of this video, but if you want to make sure you have the utmost details of this event for everything I'm going to mention, check the Discord announcements because I will put out cool little posters that I make uh, that will give you all of the event details. So, moving on, you're going to get this three-year crown. I was standing here when I did that. So, what else? Well, the Batman, Postboy, and Aloha outfit from the 1.1 event back in September 2020 are coming back. You can get them through this event. This event's currency, that is. As well as the Farmer Goku outfit, the tracksuit, and Galactic Patroller. Sick. Those are from BOG, ROF, and U6, respectively. That's cool. As well as a three-year anniversary title to show people that you were there for the event. So that's sick. How do you get the currency? Well, it's going to be these little anniversary coins that you have. How do you get those anniversary coins, you might ask? Well, you get them from vote parties, voting, punching machines, daily missions, quests, challengers, special training, and there's one more gift box. Um, as well as the event having uh, a gift box in and of itself that you can claim while playing during the event. You will be able to get currency through all of those. There'll be different little chances to get currency as well as how much currency you get. Hey there, one thing I forgot to mention is a all new thing, which is a weekly kit. First weekly kit ever that you can obtain from an event or sorry, at all. Um, yeah, so you'll be able to claim it weekly. It will reset on Sunday, zero UTC, you know, normal thing there. So you'll be able to claim it every Sunday, or I mean any day of the week, but it will reset Sunday. So you can claim it Friday, and then Sunday again after the refresh. So that's neat. Uh, I won't talk about the contents because they'll probably be changed by the time this video comes out. But so with all that in mind, after the three year anniversary ends, you guys will be getting the summer festival for 2023. So what does that give you? Well, it's going to give you a 10% um, XP booster and a 15% store sale. So that's obviously a lot lower. But why is it lower? Uh, the event's going to last for a significant amount of time for pretty much the rest of what we consider the summer. Um, when it went, no set date. We'll release uh, that throughout the through the announcements. It'll be over a month though, I can tell you that. Um, so yeah, just a cool little summer celebration for you guys. Festival, if you will. Um, you will also get cosmetics from that. You'll get a summer uh, event. Summer, summer cosmetic, as well as the sunglasses cosmetic. And the summer of 23 title they might change but cool uh, so yeah that's pretty cool what else you get from the event uh, got it cool little event though you know just like a cracked up weekend booster you guys to get a lot of things as well as the store sale uh, mind you the three anniversary is gonna last two weeks and then after that the summer event will commence and you guys will be able to get everything from that um, which means the stuff mentioned in the three year anniversary will no longer be uh, achievable. So thank you to everyone who just watched. Um, I'm just gonna talk about some general um, stuff. You know, I just wanna thank you all for playing all of this time, uh, a massive amount of time from the last update. It's almost been a year. However, in that time we've done like six events, including this one. So. No estimates on when it will come out. Um, we have an internal estimate, but I'm not willing to share that because I don't want to share that. And then, you know, we don't need it because things are constantly changing in development. We're still um, adding new smallish features to the list as well as removing other ones. So that's why, you know, generally we don't, we don't, we don't share a lot of info for every little detail of the event. However, there is obviously the update FAQ channel, which has everything that will be happening. Um, as well as update news, which just provides a little roadmap of what the development's been like so far. Um, it was also where this event was originally announced. Snuck it in there. Nobody, uh, some people noticed, some people didn't. 
um yeah so really i just want to thank all of you guys for playing uh we've been around for three years in this remaster and we've done so well um this is i mean it has been since gt's development so almost two years actually about two years now give or take right another month or so uh this has been my full-time thing you know hobby turned um job i don't know i don't I like to consider it a job because i'm not clocking in i'm not you know whatever anyway though the server's plenty successful and i just want to thank you all for that uh this server is amazing i love working on it i love waking up every day and coming in here to develop for this server and work on new content and work on new things new quality of life however everything really i mean working on some of that quality of life stuff is what keeps me going every day man some of the silly stuff that you're like why are they doing that man they don't you know, yes, we, we didn't need to make recreate uh, character creation. However, it's been such a source. Like, really, it wasn't going to happen this update. It was going to happen in the 1.3 update. You know, not this update. Not next. Not that one. The fourth update in the roadmap we've given you guys. How did it come into this update? Um, I don't frankly remember. I believe Rook was working on some character skins. And once he made those, I looked at them and I'm like man let me try to make a demo of like all like it rendering the hairs you know as you guys might have seen some of the teasers i posted about it the hairs or like facial features in a in a line like so you could see them all at once and then i did that and then it was pretty much exciting enough for me at that point that it was a confirmed feature and at this point it's probably one of the bigger ones i, mean, I know many people consider it one of the bigger ones i wouldn't say that um it's definitely up there but we have some things we haven't announced yet, which um, maybe we will, maybe we won't. Maybe it will just be announced when the update comes out. I don't know. Um, I just want to thank you all for giving me the time, giving me and the team the time to just work on these updates for as long as we want. Really, I think that's really important. Uh, being the developer of this, I think um, it's helped me realize how much like when you're working on projects, it is invaluable to have a fan base that's willing to to just patiently wait for something you know it's it's the reason i mean this is obviously not comparing to elden ring but just the way they just worked on elden ring as long as they wanted i'm sure there were some internal like okay we we want to meet this uh whatever deadline but really just developers and creatives having the time to just work on things for months years um longer than some people would advise um is amazing right i mean that's how you get a lot of cyberpunk type releases where the games come out and they're just missing everything they aim for i'm not gonna lie we have a we have buggy releases frequently i'm a novice developer frankly um as well as there's so much we do we have such a big scope maybe that's harmful i prefer it this way a big scope of things so that obviously there's going to be a lot of bugs in that big scope and but I do my best to fix them in time in a timely manner. You know, most important ones first and whatnot. But I hope that pretty much makes up for you know the amount of bugs we have. And I hope it's not like a cyberpunk to you guys where it comes out and it's completely unplayable. Um, yeah. But really, you know, the team's amazing. Two dedicated scalers, two dedicated designers, um, bunch of testers at this point. We we got we got a good team of testers right now. Really, and we we are always accepting more. So if you're watching this, and you want to be a tester, you want to be not not a scaler. We're not accepting more of those. But if you want to be part of the team, you want to design stuff for us, like a lot of things. I can point out a couple things. Like if you know sound design, I would love to have you on the team, because really, um, sound design is something I want to ha put more into the server. Better better sound effects, better background music, all of that. So if you know someone, or you yourself are that someone, let me know. Like, uh, obviously more than sound design. Sound design, graphic design, testing. Just genuinely testing. Um, whatever. If you're a builder, especially. Uh, go ahead to the hashtag help wanted on the Discord. And contact the relevant person. For sound design, we don't necessarily have someone to contact. So maybe just become a tester and go from there. Um, but, yeah. Really just, it's, it's amazing being able to spend all the time I do on these updates. Uh, you know, I do my best to work as hard as I can but obviously there's there's points where uh I'm not working and I'm unmotivated but try my best to get to those spells of um 
unmotivation, but really it's amazing to be able to um, spend all this time in these updates and just know that there's people like you guys just replay the server like you guys start entire new character slots because you just like the server you want to do a whole new character slot specifically like you don't know how much we've been asked sorry about that microphone is a little weird um you guys don't know how much we've been asked to add like more character slots so people can do one of every race whether they're playing them all to max or what I don't care man I, I love having a way for people to replay the server at their own pace really like there's no incentive there's no prestige there's none of that you really just replay the server because you I guess want to I mean that's what I hope um and it makes me so happy knowing that people just replay the entire server me and the team have made for nothing but oh what if I played as a key build what if I played as a Majin what if I played as a like those, those things doing this whole extra playthrough hundreds of hours or so just for that little what if it's amazing to me and i really 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 cannot emphasize how much i appreciate it that people um care so much about the product that me and the team have created over these last three years it's honestly amazing how far we've um come from just being a average dvc server with custom forms and whatnot back in beta to i mean at this point i like i like to think that we're um pretty pretty good minecraft thing i don't even know i wouldn't we're not a game but i like to think that we've set a high standard for ourselves and um just do our best to keep meeting that high standard and hope that you guys keep enjoying it really um thank you all for just being so patient with updates um there's people who play every single day uh just have factions do whatever they do just constantly playing i mean i don't expect that out of anyone frankly i'm happy if you just play the game for any amount of time uh seeing so many people play this server that i just created it's amazing i mean obviously me and the team created not not just me uh it's really really amazing to uh be doing this for effectively my job again don't like considering it a job but man thank you guys all i don't want to get too sentimental but it means a lot to me that you guys just support this server and uh yeah support everything we do really uh it's amazing to still be here still be running this server almost six years after i started it in late 2017 that ish um yeah thank you all appreciate you uh see you when i see you have some more teasers hopefully we'll see uh hope you guys enjoy this event i know like literally two-thirds of this video was spent talking about not the event but um, if any of you watch this for 15 or so minutes, thank you. Um, I really appreciate you guys just listening to me talk, I guess. Um, yeah, I'm really excited for this update. I'm really excited for this event, everything. Um, excited for you guys to see some of the stuff we've been cooking behind the scenes. Thank you guys all for watching. Bye-bye.